Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This is Nazmul Islam from Classy Devs. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit home page in PrestaShop and how can we migrate to Crazy Limit for editing the home page. So let's get started. Before editing the home page in PrestaShop, let's know what is the benefit of migration from Classic to Crazy Elements. The first benefit is you can customize the home page from the crazy elements and it has no limitation but in case of the default system it has many limitation so let's discuss about it here you can see the normal prestashop structure so this is the display home hook so in the normal prestashop structure there is total four module used the first one is the image slider second is the feature product third is the banner and fourth is the custom text block if you see the home page of the PrestaShop, the same thing is using here. The first one is the image slider, second is the feature product, third is the banner, and fourth is the custom text block. So here you can see in a normal PrestaShop structure, you need to use the multiple module. So if you want to change it or configure it, suppose you want to configure the feature product. So to configure it, you have to go to the module then go to the module manager you have to source the module and you have to configure it or if you want to change the position like image slider to, to the feature product then you have to go to the design then you have to go then the position then you have to change it so this is one kind of hassle but if you have the crazy limit you don't need to do it just from the one side you can do it or manage it so if you have the crazy element module then you don't need to the another four module for editing the home base like image slider module, feature product module, banner module, and custom text module. The main important thing is you can manage all content in one place and you can edit according to you need from the crazy element. Here, another thing is the current module structured, you are not able to insert any custom content or cell banner inside two module where crazy can give you this flexibility how here you can see this is the image slider and this is the feature product between two you can add another module or text editor or image or general widget from here but in the current default system of the presta shop you cannot do that we know that page speed does affect seo so if your site has a good page speed then you will get the rank in the search engine result page but if your site speed is not good then you will not get rank in the search engine result page if you have the more module then your page speed will be high if you have the less module then your page speed will be good if you like to know more about how to speed up the prestashop website then you can read this article so we will put this article link to our description box at first we have to download the crazy element page builder module so to download it you have to go this link and you have to download this uh, crazy element page builder pro version so we will keep this link to our description box after downloading so you have to come to the back office then just go to the module module manager and just click on the upload a module now you have to drop this module file that is zip file in here then it will be uploaded successfully so click here and now here is the downloaded file just click open so it will take some time to upload the module now we will install the module so to install the Upload it module, just go to the module catalog and search the module here. Stir. This is the module we have uploaded. So just click the install. It will take some time to install. Just wait a bit and it sometimes depends on the internet connection. So here you can see our module is installed successfully. After successfully install the crazy element page builder module, you will see the crazy element section here. So in crazy element section, 
if you click the settings then you will see this window and here you have to put the license key and you have to activate the license now we will edit the or we will migrate classic to crazy elements so let's do it now click the crazy editor then here you can see the content anywhere so just click on that now we have to click the add new here now we will place the title here home page by crazy so you can write here in your own way no problem here you can see the select display hook so this hook will be the display home because we are going to edit the display home by the crazy element and click the save and stay now click the content edit with crazy elements click on that this is our crazy elements editor panel so we have to edit from here left side you can see these are the widget there are a lot of widget to create the beautiful home page now we will move the existing module to our crazy elements so at first we have to click the plus button here now we have to search the module just keep it here so this is the module widget so you, you already know that this is the image slider so let's find out here image slider ps image slider so this is the image slider now the second is the feature product again just add the module widget from here and this is the feature product this is the feature product so the third is the banner here so let's add the banner now the last one is the custom text block so let's add the custom text block the custom text so there you can see the default prestashop design and after the custom text block this is also same to the default design but this is done by the crazy elements so this is why you can add any module between this or widget so here you can see the lot of widget by this widget you can create the beautiful home page or beautiful pages or any section so this is the flexibility of the crazy element now we will remove the default system from the hook so to unhook this module just go to the design then position now search to the display home so these are the module that is showing here and here is our crazy elements so just unhook the unnecessary module here let's test now it is working or not well here is only our crazy elements module now it's time to migrate the pressure of classic to crazy elements so here you can see there are four module is used for the home page but we don't need to use this kind of module because our crazy elements able to do it so let's see at first we will change the this image slider and we will use our 
crazy elements image slider so let's do it now here you can see drag widget here so at first we have to find the image slider this is the image slider just drag and drop here now here you can see the slider title one speed 5000 millisecond pause on hover loop from the previous that speed 5000 millisecond is the 5 second so you can increase or decrease however there is a pause on hover so when the slider is moving if you keep your cursor there then the slider will be paused so it will be loop forever after the last slide it will always looping if you keep it enable if you want to customize the slider option then you can do it from here when you finish just click the update now we will remove the PrestaShop default image slider from here so just click in the cross button here so this is removed from here now our crazy elements image slider is here so it's time to check it is working or not so just click the update button and click the preview change button here so here you can see this is our crazy elements image slider there is not used of the default system of the image slider so this is why we are going to remove now that module because this module is not used here anymore so to remove it just go to the module and then module manager now find out the image slider module and then click the down arrow and here you can see the uninstall just click over it yes uninstall it okay that module is uninstalled successfully now it's time to add the feature product and it's time to remove the existing feature product module so here just click over the plus button and now find out the feature product so this is the feature product widget just drag and drop here and just deselect the random and add the 8 so that we have the 8 product shown here we have to add here another text title widget so here you can see the heading so this is the popular product text this is the feature product added here so it's time to remove the feature product module so it's time to add the banner this is the existing pressure shop module banner so we will also do the same thing so here just click plus button and or image we can simply use image here just click over the choose image and we have to upload the image here to add the image just simply click the action button here upload and now we have to drag the file here So this is the banner image you can see it is uploaded successfully it's the banner and here you can see it is uploaded successfully and we have to remove this banner just remove it and here you can see the custom text block so we will also use the custom text we have this option in the crazy elements just click over plus and 
here you have to search the text and you can see the text editor just drag and drop here text editor now let's copy the text and paste it here so this text are align center so let's do it now align center so this is the align center now and uh, if you compare that you can see here is the background white so let's change the background so you can see the background white but it has the padding so left right top bottom padding and you also can see that there is the text color is different so let's see what is the text color so in if you use the chrome then you can just click the right button of the mouse then you can inspect it and you can see the color this is the color code just copy this color code then you have to just paste style then text color here you have to paste this color so this is the text color and now you can update it now it's time to remove this custom text module so so it has updated successfully now let's see the changes so it has done by the crazy element so this is how crazy element make it easier to manage all the things in one module so you don't need to the additional module if you have the crazy element page builder this is all about our tutorial please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel Keep watching videos to learn more about PrestaShop. Bye-bye.